derived from ancient Japanese battlefield technique. Modern Aikido is a new art, developed largely since the middle of this century. Aikido's founder, Morihei Ueshiba, lived from 1883 to 1969. Out of respect, most students of Aikido call him O-sensei, the syllable O being a term of honor. Mitsugi Satome-sensei is a direct student of O-sensei. Born in Japan in 1937, Satome-sensei began his study of Aikido at the age of 19. In 1960, he entered Aikikai Hombu Dojo, headquarter of Aikido's central organization, as an uchideshi, or live-in student, a position that he held for 15 years. Osensei met many important people, including John Glenn, the first astronaut to orbit the Earth. In Glenn's honor, Osensei conducted a special demonstration. A careful observer of Osensei's teaching methods, Satome Sensei reports that Osensei most often lectured not on technical form, but on Budo and on Aikido's spiritual significance. Satome Sensei has preserved this approach in his own teaching. Satome Sensei also trained under Osensei's son. Kishomaru Ueshiba Sensei, Aikido's present Doshu. Like Doshu, Satome Sensei has stated that Aikido's basic purpose is to help people live better lives, to make their spirits blossom, and so to improve the world. Satome Sensei often traveled with O Sensei and served as his uke in demonstrations. For about six years after the founder's death, Satome Sensei remained as an instructor at Hombu Dojo. In 1975, he moved to the United States. In the late 70s, he demonstrated for the United Nations peacekeeping forces and for the delegates to the United Nations. Explaining to people around the country why he had left his position at Hombu Dojo, Satome Sensei said that after meditating on O Sensei's spirit for three days and three nights, he felt that O Sensei wanted him to come to the United States. This country is a great experiment, he explained a melting pot of people from different cultural backgrounds living together, the world condensed into one nation. The goal of Aikido and Osensei's dream is that all the people of the world live in harmony with each other and with their environment. The United States has the opportunity to set a great example. Several years after moving to the United States, Satome Sensei established an Aikido organization, Aikido Schools of Ueshiba, which is recognized by Aikikai Hombu Dojo. Many American and Canadian dojos are affiliated with this organization. For Satome Sensei, Aikido is a Budo, and this means that its aim is nothing less than the education of human instinct. On this view, the purpose of Aikido training is not to prepare us for hurting others, or even for defending ourselves, but to lead us beyond petty selfishness to a state of global concern, respect, and compassion. One of Aikido's most important principles is musubi, the principle of connection, unification, and harmonious interaction. The art of Aikido has thousands of techniques. Satome Sensei will demonstrate about 50. While these techniques are, of course, important to Aikido, becoming familiar with technical forms is not sufficient for Aikido's mastery. To study Aikido is rather to study principles like musubi on which the forms are. Students of Aikido often practice defenses against wrist grabs, especially in the early stages of their training. In such practice, it is easy to study proper posture, attitude, distancing, communication, and of course, masubi. The aim in masubi training is to connect one's center with one's partner's center, but the point of physical connection is often the hand or wrist. Spiraling hand movements allow the achievement of masubi with a partner, connection without conflict. Oh, 
Osensei's message was that rather than clashing with other people's energy, we should unify our own energy with it. If an opponent grabs strongly and a defender struggles at the point of contact, the defender cannot move freely. So in Aikido, the idea is not to fight, not to conflict. Many of Aikido's standard techniques begin with a spiral hand movement to establish Masubi. So the principle of Masubi is essential to Aikido training. An understanding of this principle underlies the proper application of all Aikido technique, whether basic or advanced. Masubi training is fundamentally the same when partners strike as when they grab. The importance of awareness, the aim, and the movement are all the same. The concept of Masubi is not just philosophical, but also technical and practical. Merely accepting a philosophy of harmony does not guarantee success. One must also train one's hand and one's body. An important method for developing Masubi is the seated practice of Kokyu Tanden Ho. In fact, the founder of Aikido often told his students that this non-competitive exercise is fundamental for the development of Masubi. As the lessons of standing Masubi practice apply to standing technique, the lessons of Kokyu Tanden Ho apply to the seated practice called Hanmi Handachi. The old conception of Aikido, which Satomi Sensei views as tragic, has to do with crushing, destroying, breaking, punishing, and even killing an enemy. O Sensei abandoned this conception of the art, but it's still useful to notice how the old conception influenced the art's technical development. Often, when practicing Ikkyo, students will struggle against one another. Nage, the thrower, will sometimes grab Uke's arm, and Uke will sometimes brace and resist. According to Satomi-sensei, such struggles reveal arrogance and ignorance. As the study of the old concept of Aikido reveals, once the Ikkyo movement has begun, both the participants enter a fluid martial arts situation whose outcome is undetermined. In this situation, Uke may be completely open to elbow-breaking strikes, punches, kicks, and so on. Those who struggle or brace in Ikkyo have forgotten the art's original martial purpose. Satomi Sensei points out that unless one is aware of how one could hurt one's opponent, one cannot choose to do otherwise. Those unaware of their opponent's openings have no choice, since choice requires the awareness of possible alternatives. In this diagram, Satomi Sensei depicts the dynamics of Ikkyo. Ikkyo training does not have to do with grabbing a partner's arm, but with redirecting the partner's energy and changing the nature of the entire interaction. So in performing Ikkyo, it is important to be aware of the uke's whole body, 
to broaden vision and awareness rather than to focus them narrowly on an opponent's elbow or wrist. In battle, there are sometimes many opponents, some in front, some to the side, some to the rear. To engage just one of these may be to open oneself to others. One purpose of the Irimi Tenkan movement, as used in Irimi Nage, is to allow a defender to use one attacker as a shield against others. According to Satome Sensei, this is one of Irimi Nage's basic lessons. Like Ikkyo, Iminage provides opportunities for ate, targeted strikes. On the mat, our partners are cooperative, but in self-defense situations, where opponents may do their best to resist a throw, ate may be necessary. Aikido is no longer a battlefield art, of course, but the point of training is still the same, to learn how to survive. That's why in Aikido there are no competitions, no championships, no trophies. On the battlefield, the trophy is one's head, one's life. Some say that in studying opportunities for strikes, we move away from Aikido into the realm, say, of karate. But Saotome Sensei teaches that in our Aikido training, we should study survival techniques. In the case of Iriminagi in particular, for surviving attacks by multiple opponents. Suwari waza, techniques from seated position, derive from samurai practice. Their function in modern Aikido training is to develop relaxation, flexibility, and centeredness. All techniques done from standing position can also be done with the same body movement from this seated position. Demonstrating Aikido techniques for instructional purposes, Satome Sensei moves through them slowly and deliberately.
The Yokomnuchi strike, which is derived from traditional sword movement, is aimed at the side of the head or neck.
Dynamically, the Katadori attack, shoulder grab, resembles Yokomanuchi since the attack comes to one side of the defender's center line. But despite the off-center nature of the attacking motion, the defender's aim is to remain centered within himself while gaining control of the attacker's center. The direction, movement, and extension of sword arts translate directly to empty-handed technique. The Munetsky attack is a thrust to the torso. With a joe, wooden staff, it's a thrust of the sort that one might make with a spear. Empty-handed, it becomes a low, straight punch.
In practicing defenses from same-side risk grabs, students can study the principles of Aikido without feeling endangered by their partner's attacks. Still, Satomi-sensei insists that in dealing with this harmless attack, defenders should respond to their opponents as if they were armed and dangerous. Why would an attacker grab both of a person's wrists? Probably to hold the person in position for a secondary attack, like a headbutt or low kick. So Satomi Sensei emphasizes that when practicing defenses against Ryotomochi, students protect themselves by moving immediately off the line of attack.
Today, in many schools of Aikido, Ushiro Waza is practiced as a category of techniques separate from defenses from wrist grabs. But at one point in Aikido's history, Ushiro techniques were viewed primarily as ways for nages to recover when their partners managed to get behind them. In his teaching, Satomi Sensei preserves this older, martial idea. In Iriminage from a cross-handed wrist grab, one person passes behind another in order to throw. Many Ushiro techniques can be viewed as defenses against aggressive moves of just this sort. Because of his conception of Ushiro-waza, Satomi-sensei does not initially present his back for his partner to attack. Instead, he begins from a cross-handed grab from the front and then responds as his partner passes behind him. So always you know, concentration in the center. And so don't fight this um term. Very important all of your energy or concentration or center all together. So and go and the next and the coming is the explosion. Always this is a cycle. So this is mean in a Kokyu Ho or Kokyu Ryok Tandem. Aikido is, is training in graphic universe. So universal energy formulas always kind of breathing, you know. Condensed in an explosion. This is a breeze. This is moving. For example, this is my heart. The same thing. This move always this. So the this kokyuho training, kokyuho training is basically always so centrifugal, uh, centrifugal, and centrifugal. The another uh, training 
principle uh, called uh, Taninzu Dori. Uh, Taninzu Dori means uh, many persons learned and uh, training for defense. Uh, Taninzu Dori principle. Uh, most important in uh, three things the Taninzu Dori. Uh, kind of body move, body control. Uh, <coughs> I try to now uh, showing, for, for example, Yoko Meuchi. Sometimes skinny, sometimes go up down, sometimes go through. This is three things. You move spinning or or you come down to slow. Or sometimes uh, no chance to inside for for time. So we go straight entry at all. In the practice of Tanin Judori, it is important not to struggle with any single attacker. If a defender does get caught up with one attacker, the others have a chance to converge. So defenders must flow through the exercise freely without forming attachments. On the other hand, in thinking about all the attackers at once, a defender would split his or her attention, making it impossible to establish a good connection with any one. So in Tanin Judori, the defender must deal with each problem individually solving one completely before moving on to the next.